recording this somehow. Um, so today I've got like a pretty basic Greek tune. Um, just to get a, just to start off with, um, I might start start a second group with more uh, at a more advanced level. Yeah, we've got someone else who's just joined. Who's that who's just joined? Oh, interesting. Huh. Um, oh, sorry, give me a sec. Sorry. Uh, this thing. All right. So what's the information for this chat? Uh, if you go into invite, oh, sorry, participants, it will tell you what the meeting ID is. Oh, it's there. I should tell you. Oh my god, they keep changing the format of Zoom, I think, because they keep having like, they keep improving it, which is like fine, but actually it means that every time you use it, you have to like relearn it. Um, that's really weird. I don't know why they can't. What? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can do this 40 minutes, we just say, so, like, it's limited to, this one's limited to 40 minutes, maybe we should have to figure it out. Hmm. Um, so who can, who can hear me anyway? I can hear you. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so we're having a bit of technical difficulties in here. Uh, with some people can't hear the audio, so not sure. They need to, if you can't hear the audio, uh, we, they won't be able to hear this. I've just said in the chat what you need to do, which is you need to click to with audio, and you should be able to hear anyone that can't. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, maybe we'll get started. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Um, so, if you can't hear us, I'll, I'm recording this, so because I just found out how to do that. Great. So, so we've got everyone here's kind of like an all right mid level with Polkin. Well, we've got another Sebastian on the accordion. Um, all right. So we'll just take it easy. Uh, we're going to do a Greek song called mm -hmm. Kegame. Can I get Greek? Can I get your name? Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to mute everyone. So if you uh, have a question, uh, we'll wanna, just slow down. I want to set it so that we just see you the whole time rather than whoever's talking, uh, whoever's uh, making noise. If you know what I mean, so that your screen's like the big one. You all can the time. That. Um, you can select that yourself. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Right, okay. yeah, gallery or gallery view or speaker view. So at the moment it'll be on speaker view and then you can go to gallery view. Or okay. if, if we mute you, then it will only be us. Oh yes, yeah, so hmm. should I should I mute myself, you think? Mute, mute, yeah. mute all. Okay. Okay. All right. Hello, we have an Izzy. Let's mute Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> Instant. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, don't mind me, I'm just going to see if I can, ah, there we go, everything's working, very good. Cool, <laughs> so if you can mute yourself, Izzy, that'd be, I think you're muted. All right, so let's get started. So today we're going to learn a song called uh, Kegome, it's called Kegome Kegome, which is um, a really depressing Greek song about being depressed and wanting to die or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> Greek songs tend to be about two things, either dancing or wanting to be sad. <laughs> uh, so this one, uh, we've got a bit of a, a different scale that m doesn't come up in most Balkan music, but only kind of comes up in more Greek to Turkish to Arabic. So it's a, definitely an Arabic influence. 
Uh, so the scale that we're going to use is called Saba. So that's like S A B A. Saba. Um, so it comes from the Arabic Saba Makam, but it doesn't use quarter tones like it would in Arabic music. So, so we're going to start by going up and then a basic outline of the scale. So we're going to start on D. That's not a D. All right. So we have D followed by E, F, G flat. So we're going to skip the G altogether, except G flat. So we're going to jump to A now. So that, that bit again, D, E, F, G flat, A, and now we have a B flat, C, natural, and back to the top. Nice. So we'll just go up and down that. So two, three, four. So we'll try that one a little bit faster. So uh, one, two, three, four. How are we all with that? Cool. All right. So there's some weird, usually have some weird fingering. But, so I'm not sure what it's like on other instruments, but it's, it's took me a bit to get used to on the keys. Now, um, now the last two notes, the B flat and the C, they're kind of, um, they're going to change depending on the, the scale or the macam that's being used in the song. But the, the D to the A is consistent. Um, now, it's, so it's going to change. We're going to go below the tonic now. So we've, We've gone, we started the tonic and gone up. When we go below, we will not use B flat, we'll use a B natural. And this is a common thing in lots of Greek music and, and work in other scales as well. So it'll be, so going below will be C, oh, sorry, D, C, B natural, back up to D. Uh, and that's that's fifty percent of Greek music covered. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to give us a bit of context, so um, I'll get all right. So I'll play the song just so you can get a bit of an idea. Uh, so no odd time signatures for this one, just a kind of straight pulse. But it, it's not in four four. It starts in four, but it's not in four four. Great. But don't, don't worry about <laughs> counting it too much. So, there you go. One, two, sections um, and that that's D C B C A that's part of the rhythm section which they kind of throw in at the end of the phrase so that's kind of a good way to get a grasp of when you're at the end of the section so 
Um, do, you, do you guys want to, I think you guys would be all right with that kind of groove. Is everyone okay with that kind of rhythm? It's pretty straightforward. Just one, like one and two and three and four. One, two, three and four. So three and four. Yeah. So that always ends at the end of the bar. Um, so uh, the first section um, is boy. Okay. So the melody is going to start on a C. Uh, and on on an offbeat, so be one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. Yep. Um, so. so it's a bit awkward. So. Three, four, one. So we're hanging around the F natural, going below and above it quite a bit in this song. Three. Oh, I should count that. <laughs> Three, four, one. So the note wise, we're just going So there's a quick note there. So we're going from, imagine we're going from F to E, but we're chucking in a quick G flat and F on the way. So instead of going, we're going. Does that make sense for everyone? Yep. Cool. So three and four and one. Last three notes is D, E, F. with that. So that's the first phrase. And the second phrase. So I'll play that again. So. So it's a bit of a weird thing to get used to. It took me ages to pick this one out originally. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to repeat a phrase or anything at any point, and just type it in the chat. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, so, and we do have a little ornament there. We have, so instead of going, so it goes, there, from going, 
going again, going from F to E, we're going via G flat again. How's that? Cool. All right, so we'll put those two bits together because that's that's the whole first section. Ooh. So nice and just easy one well, short. Yeah. Um, so one, two, and three, and four, and one. <laughs> Again, just for my own First up, um, let me do it at a tempo yeah, because I cool. think I'm distort when I saw Ty when you slow down these things with ornaments, it, the rhythm gets a bit lost. Mm -hmm. So, one, uh, three, and four, and one. There it is. Those two two phrases together. Uh, yep. <laughs> Three and four and one. <laughs> So the next phrase, um, it's uh, I think the the rhythm of it's ten four then eleven four. It's kind of odd, but it is one of those kinds of songs because it's so slow and plotty. You hear different versions, and the rhythm will get pulled and pulled and stretched, and depending who's interpreting it. So the recording that I'll, I can send a link to the recording. Uh, I I worked it up so it's the first part is in ten. And the second one, second time through, it adds an extra beat. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so this is the chorus. So you can sing, sing along if you want. Uh, I'm going to send it in the Kega now. There you go. Yeah. I think it just means. Wait, no, I looked it up before. I'm burning. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, very dramatic Greek songs. So, um, <laughs> all right, so the chorus, I guess it's a chorus, three and four and Nice. 
so that's the chorus. Um, all right, so, um, so we start on the G flat and we're working our way down to the tonic to begin with. So it's like, starting on G flat, G, yeah. G, F natural, F, no, sorry, G, F, F, D, D, yeah. Again, three, four. G, F, F, D, D, D. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh. Cool. We've moved the 40 minute time limit on your group meeting. Love it. Great. Thanks, Sam. Great. No time limit. Cool. cool. Okay. Uh, let's do that again. So one, two, three, four. First phrase. Um, I'll do the whole phrase first. So we're kind of just going up and down around between C and G flat. <laughs> We'll do it a couple more times. One, two, three, four. Extra little phlegm and uh, embellishments. Um, where am I doing that? I do it everywhere. <laughs> so uh, maybe I can, maybe I'll look at that a little bit later. Um, so the next part, it's mostly the same, it starts off the same. So this time we're going down to B. So that phrase again. D, C, B natural, C, F, So that phrase again. Three, four. D, C, B natural, C, D, E. Feels like a proper question and answer. Yeah. Yeah. 
notes. So I always I quite like that last three notes because it, yeah. it resolves. Mm. It's kind of yeah. It's an interesting song and scale. I love it. All right, so let's put that phrase together. So one, two, three, four. is a little bit makes a bit more sense than the first one. Uh, so we'll put those two together now. Um, so one, two, three, four. So now we'll put that together with the first part. If we, the first part was um, yeah. Yeah. starting on an offbeat. Uh, first note C, starting on an offbeat. So one, two, three, four. A slow song that's yeah. the actual tempo <laughs> uh varying from that to slower um so what we what we'll do maybe do you, do you guys want me to play it again just a few more times to sync it in okay. yeah all right we'll do it a few more times uh and this time we'll, we won't repeat it as much cool two ways two, two ways two b's two ways two b's <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
essentially the tune. Um, now, other things for ornaments and stuff. Um, I know a lot of you already know ornaments, but I'll just go over some things that's also here. Mm -hmm. So this is a Greek song. Um, I haven't stumbled across a lot of Greek accordion. Uh, the stuff I've heard is a little bit rigid, a bit too rigid for this kind of stuff. Um, so but when it comes to violins and and clarinets, there's dis very distinct styles because it can't, it, there's a lot of influence from the Arabic music and it's a lot more sliding, a lot more fluid. And the ornaments, my ornaments, my, my single ornaments, which I do all the time, like the mordant, it's kind of that. But that's not quite accurate because those little decorations, they're not usually a semitone, a full semitone on a violin or an oud or something. I think clarinets, they switches because the, the Greeks use like a G clarinet, which is lower. And I don't think it has keys on it or something. I don't know, but I'm, it's different. Let's find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I can recommend, I can show you a, uh, uh, or I can send you a, a Turkish clarinet player if you want to hear what, 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 what they do with it. It's pretty nuts. But um, yeah, so all my, all my ornaments when I'm playing the accordion, they're semitonal most of the time. But it changes if you want to make it brighter. It's usually might be a tone. Right. And then you can kind of expand on that. It could be that's semitone. It's a tone. My third. Mm -hmm. the, the, it makes it brighter if you do like a major third interval or a third. So if you if that's a thing that you want to kind of practice on, um, I've been told the Bulgarian scales. Uh, this is only as an accordionist, but it's kind of transferable for everything. And so instead of doing your C scale, like that, you do it. Right. So that slowed down is literally just doing, oh, let me change the higher register. So that's the Bulgarian scale. Oh my god, that's such a <laughs> and it's just... Oh yeah, I'm not gonna try this. <laughs> so yeah, I mean like I think when I do it on the when I tried it on the violin, it's just like a it's almost just like rubbing against my finger. Mm. I'm sure Lou is like better at explaining it all. Maybe we can have an ornament lesson from Lulu at some point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um <laughs> so yeah. Um so if I was, so the ornament, Oop, back to the melody, there you go, there's the first ornament on, yeah, yeah I am just kind of barely grazing uh, my finger against the next finger, the third finger, sorry second finger, 
And barely touching the string as well. Yeah. Um, so where else we got? So it's lots, lots on that F, because that's kind of our main note in the melody. So you might do it twice or once or twice. If you want to just do it, go over the top. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little bit closer. But I think So that that sounds to me that sounds a lot closer to what I hear cool. in the band. I wouldn't, yeah, you know, I don't hear the accordion ornaments as much in the three. Yeah. There you go. There's another one. Um, for that second phrase. For that phrase, what I'm, what I'm doing. I'm pedaling the, the, is it pedaling? Yeah. Yeah, the A above it. Or, nah, it's not quite that. I don't know if I do that all the time. No, it's more that. Sorry, I lied. <laughs> Forget everything I said. Um, I'm kind of going. So from that note. So that's F to G, E to F, landing on D. So I don't know if that translates to... We could double stop the A as well though, if I don't Actually, if you want to have that A, you do want that A pedal. Uh, it's not massively stylistic. No. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the chorus. I'm the first uh, syllable, I'm ornamenting that. And for the first note, instead of like a chromatic thing, like that, I'm going below, is it a turn? Below, above, landing on the F. Sorry, G sharp. So that's F, A, G flat. That's just a modern. So yeah, um, a lot of this is, it's going to change with everyone who plays it, but 
that's the, those are the main places that I'm putting it. It's mostly on that um, on that F when we accent that when the le when the mel uh, when the melody lands on that F is where I'm doing it more. Because there's just more of an emphasis there, and then the, in the chorus. Which is kind of would be how it's sung. Yeah. So that's essentially the, the melodies of that song. Um, other things, so this this scale and this makam is doesn't come up very often, uh, but it is associated with sorrow, uh, which is great. And um, and it's it's really it's really powerful. I mm. um, that little cluster of semitones. It's like it's quite shocking. So I'll send um I'll send the recording of um of this of the one that I transcribed and um it's interesting you can hear the violin playing in the beginning and then there's voice improvising over the top of it uh, using that scale and it's lots of like. Ah. Mm. So those are the things that you're kind of, all these things are kind of imitating the human voice mm. in ways. And even the melody is kind of quite wavery and it's going to change every time you play it. So just keep those things in mind. Um, Should we play one final time? Yeah. Let's, uh, oh, um, what's that? Is it like a hammer on, hammer off type thing? Which is a hammer on? Yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh. Don't, wor don't worry about that. It, it sounds like a hammer on, hammer off, but then you explained it, so it's fine. Oh, okay. It, it's uh -huh. more like a trill, isn't it? It's just uh -huh. like different types of trills. Yeah. Fit it like they're, yeah. Okay. The way, the way, the way it, I see yeah. it all like, made, uh, like notated is like mordants and inverted mordants, which is just the single one. But it's like, yeah. You, it's like the, yeah, the sheet music doesn't really capture what's actually going on. Which is the yeah. you kind of have to work it out. <laughs> listen at like not point two five speed. Yeah. The <laughs> and if you listen, it's really great. If you listen to some of the Romanian bands in particular, I've noticed this. When there's people like five people playing the melody, there's just this big cluster of notes because everyone's ornamenting it differently. <laughs> and it's just kind of like it's generally this note. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, there's something around that. <laughs> Um, so let's um, let's just play it through a couple of times. Um, and yeah. yeah sure. All right. So one. Uh. <laughs>
Wanting to, uh, I'll unmute everyone. Uh, it's definitely worth if improvising over this one. Um, it's it's quite free and very arrhythmic um, in the style, especially when you've got songs using this scale. They don't tend to be as rigid. They're very wailing. <laughs> everyone's just mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I guess if we put the video somewhere. Yeah. Of us saying it, then people can kind of. We can, we can hold down the melody and you guys can improvise over it. Yeah. Cool. Feel like, feel like filming yourself doing it and sending us a version then. Yeah. I'd love it. <laughs> Actually, uh, I used to play in a rebetical band in London and that was by far the most requested song. Really? Like, everywhere we played. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what, like, because it, have you seen the movie, Rebetico? No, I just know, I know, it's on my list. Yeah, yeah, but um, I think because that movie was really popular with the Greek Greeks, so like, they were always like, oh, it's a bit like, uh, play Cable Way, Cable Way. Oh, man, Cable Way. Here we Can go. you write that down? Can you write the name of the movie down in the chat? Oh, yeah, 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 sure, sure, Thank sure. You. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the name of a whole genre of music as well, so. Uh, so okay. Knock, so knock yourself out, because it's really great yeah. music. Uh, yeah, really good. And the joke is that everything's in in D, so it's called putting the re in the Oh, I spelt it. I spelt it right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, any other questions? I guess. Nice tune. Uh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a classic. That. It's really soulful and like, yeah. There's nice. actually a really, there's actually a really different version as well. Oh, maybe I can dig out. Yeah, I'd one. like to hear another version. Like, I've heard some yeah, versions. Yeah. One was just like painfully slow. That's it. That's the song. That's like, it's, it's, that's what gives it its thing, you know? Yeah. It's nice to have that because so much, um, so much music is like, punta, 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 that it's like nice to have the... <laughs> Mm. Oh, Everyone's oh. really stoned in Greece in these in these things. So. <laughs> well, they love it. It's slow. It's <laughs> in the zone. It's like you were saying about what the Greek, all the Greek songs are about, like uh, yeah, dancing, or whatever. But actually, we used to play this rebetical music, and there'd be this really happy sounding song, and then oh, it's really beautiful, uh, really nice. Uh, what's it called? You stole my weed, so I stabbed you. <laughs> <laughs> nice happy song. <laughs> Love it. That's so good. Um, <sighs> yeah, good fun. Nice. Um, just a couple of questions. Um, uh, I'm wondering how often I should do this one. Start something like this. Um, as often as you like. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. As often as you like. We've got all the time in the world. Okay. <laughs> um, and yeah. is everyone here familiar with the, I mean, I know some of you are, but like the kind of Vulcan rhythms, I'm wondering like the odd time signatures and that. Um, yeah. You can teach me. Great. Well, I might start delving into some of that stuff soon. But anyway, Ooh. awesome. Yeah. Yay. Thank you, Tom, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Woo. You made my day. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Thank you. It's good to remember there's other people out there. Thank you for Weird. Cool. All right, guys. Thank yeah, thanks, Tom. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.